YouTube Troy Stars, Troy Stars Trucking. Thanks for tuning in. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about my experience with the past drivers or the few drivers that I had before, right? So we're gonna talk about my driver experience and I hope this video help out, you know, as usual, a couple small companies like myself that is looking forward to, you know, start their own thing, hire the drivers and start making some money, you know what I mean? And feel like you're growing, you know what I mean? And feel like everything is everything and it's going like as planned, right? So in this video, we're going to go ahead and cover my experience with the drivers that I had before. And I hope it will, you know, give you guys an understanding of how things are going and if it will work for you or not. And if it's, this is something that you should consider doing and what are the obstacles what are the things you should look out for and also if this is the, the the road you want to take when you know starting buying your own truck if you want to just you buy your own truck and stay in it not buying more trucks and you know what i mean and oh you want to pursue or if you always want to you know continue to be your company driver do what you're doing leave the headache alone for the people that can manage and continue upon on your journey and make things work you know what i mean just make things work because that's what we're here for now this video is about the experience that i had or have with the drivers that i have before or had before yes so let me start off like this <laughs> For more videos like this, please subscribe. My first time hiring any driver was a Jamaican driver, right? Which that was always my plan, always my idea, always that's all that's that's everything around or about me. That's everything around my company. Of me wanting to start my company, hire a, a, a driver of my own, like a, like a Jamaican driver from my country, from my place and they're working for me as a Jamaican and we're growing this and looking forward to hire other Jamaicans and take up Jamaicans from Jamaica and, you know, build something, build an empire, build something that we can be proud of. So that was always my thing, always the, 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 the courage that I'm out of many one people, you know what I mean? That my motto that I'm going with, right? So this is how it started. I was, well, I'm still well working at Landstar when I got a call from a Jamaican driver was that was already here in Canada, right? There was a couple couple little ups and down was going he was um in, you know what I mean? Couple little things that cost him our you know what I mean I wanna say this. He was going through one of those things when the company that he was working for is no longer working for the company and he wanted to start work right away or get something done based on the situation that he was in, right? So he called me up, he called me up, Troy Stars, um, this is what's happening and what can you do and stuff like that, right? At that time, I wasn't, I was thinking about getting the next truck to start my thing, but I, at that point, I wasn't because I didn't have a, have a driver to start that mission. So I said to him, okay, all right, um, I didn't plan, I didn't have it in mind already, but it was a plan that I have. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a truck. I'm going to come out the truck that I'm in. I'm going to give this truck to you and let you continue on the journey. And then we take it from there. All right. So he said, okay, all right, go ahead, do your thing. So I'm, I'm like, I said to him, okay, this is it. I'm not going to rush to buy a truck. I'm going to take my time to find something good because I don't want the same Thing that had happened to me before happened to me again so i you know let him know you're gonna take a little bit more time because it was just a sudden call this wasn't something that planned that you know i know that you was gonna do this so i could prepare myself so that when you do what you're doing you could you could jump on board and we could get things going or flowing right so anyway i move on to searching for a truck well, while I was searching for the truck, the driver himself was going through a little bit of down time because he's not working. He was living he was living in a house that he had to pay rent and nothing wasn't really flowing on his side, but you know, he, he have to, you know, stay alive or stay alert or pay the bills until he get back on, on his feet, right? 
So what happened was um, throughout that time, I said to him, okay, um, I was, I'm going to try and help you until I got this truck, get this truck sorted out, right? So I did put him on to a couple of contacts, you know what I mean? At first, before I even start looking truck, like put him on to a couple of contracts to see, not contract, but contacts to see if anything else could work out within the time being, as in he getting another job or he getting something else to go on to continue to work until our, you know, do, do his thing in the process. So within that time, I give him those contacts. Well, not, nothing didn't come through at that time, but I was continuing to do my thing based on where I was. I was doing what I'm doing. So if he had get something and tell me that, you know, I, I, I get this or this is what I'm going to do or whatnot, then I would just, you know what I mean, continue to do work on the scale that I'm doing and then wait as as the plan is but because he didn't get you with anything i'll just go ahead and conti continue to purchase or towards person purchasing a truck anyway i did that so when i actually reached the point that i said to him um i'm gonna help you to pay the rent until you know what i mean so i did pay the first month rent i paid the second month I, and i told him um as soon as you start back or start the work, I will cover the first rent, but the next is going to be, I will take it back out, you know, like partial, partial, you know what I mean? Like little by little, because by the end of the day, um, I have my own stuff to deal with too. So for me just to, you know, taking up, my money paying your rent and nothing back in return at that point is is like i can do it but i mean i have my own things to do too you know what i mean so i can help you out so me helping out this driver or this guy or this person remember i don't know i don't know him from nowhere i just know him based on my youtube channel and based on he knowing me from there so that's all right so i'm doing this from the kindness of my heart and the situation that he's in and knowing that one day, you know what I mean, is either the favor with return or the blessing will just keep flowing my way just by what I'm doing. So I try to help him out. I pay a couple of rent. I'm not, I don't remember how much rent I pay. I think, I don't know if it's two months or three months, Some somewhere in between, but it's not more than three months. So anyway, I was doing that until he get back. And at times when, I, when I'm sending him that rent money, I would, you know, send him just a little thing for him to eat, you know what I mean, or whatever, maybe put gas in his vehicle or stuff like that, just so that he could keep, he could stay, you know what I mean, because this is, this is Canada, and you have to, you have to pay your rent, you know what I mean, you have to eat, especially when you have no job, you have to do all those stuff, so I was looking at that too, right, anyway, so when, when he start driving my truck, um and everything work out and the journey begin i get the contract i get the truck and everything i put everything on and i send him out there right i didn't know that he have other plans right and the plan that he had was to go work for another company so the driver only worked work for me for one not one week when he run he, he run the truck for one week then he called me up and he said like Oh, Troy Stars, um, I have a link. I, oh, what, 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 was, what was it? He, he said something like, well, the story that he told me before was he's going to get married or something like that. I think that was, that was what, what he told me. And I'm like, really? So why would you, you know, try to take on something? Something, something, something. Anyway, I don't want to get into that. But anyway, um, when, it, when it turned out, it turned out to be that he get another job over in in BC or something like that to get a job over there. So I, I'm telling you what, what it turned out to be, not what he told me, right? But what he told me was what I mentioned earlier. So I was saying to him, okay, cool. Since you're going to make that type of move, um, run, run the truck for... Oh, 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 did it? oh, does it? Oh, yes. 
he told me that he's gonna, you know, what it, what I mentioned earlier in the video, that he's gonna go get that done. I'm like, really? That's that's the the, the, the move we're gonna make. So so I was saying to him, okay, this is it. I did a couple spending while you were home, right? And then I just purchased this truck just now, and I have you, you know, taking on the journey. So you know what? Run the truck for at least a month or two months, you know what I mean? So I could get back. I mean, even just a little thing on track. Because like I said before, I was paying his rent for like two to three months, right? And he's going to leave now after a week of running the truck. The truck don't even make... The truck don't, you know, with those jobs you have to do like month in the back. Because you have to do two weeks and then two weeks. So it's going to be a month, right? Before any money even come in. And he just run out for one week and then tell me that he's going to you know make that move so i was saying to him you know what because in my mind i was thinking about the marriage thing that he told me so i'm like you know what explain to the the lady that i mean i was doing this much for you when you were down so you, you you're just gonna give me back a favor as in running the truck for a while you know what i mean and then you will make your way over there and do what you need to do if that's the, that's where you want to go if that's the route or that the channel you want to use you know what i mean so I was trying to explain to him that, you know, I take it from that route, you know, do it because, you know, I mean, like I said, I do this type of spending and I do this just because of you, because you called me up and said, you know, help me out and I, I was there, right? Now, he went ahead and he, he, he said to me over the phone, like he was saying, okay, okay, I'm, I'm going to call up the, the, the lady and let her know. He said, okay, cool. Within the next, the morning of that conversation, the morning, he called me up and told me he heard something or some noise in the engine of the truck. I'm like, really? So that was the video of the, on my channel, I'm going to link it in the description. I'm going to put a, a, a link here. You can see it and you can watch it later. But that was the video that the, the camshaft on the Volvo truck was damaged and I have to go and get it sort out now and I get this this came to me right after I mentioned to the driver so this is just maybe a coincidence but now you're getting where I'm coming from now I said to him run the truck for a while until you know what I mean for a couple of time then you can go ahead and do what you're doing because I did this and I did that and then the next morning, you, you called me up and said, you know what, I hear some noise in the engine. I think the truck, the engine is done or whatever it, it, it seems to be, right? Anyway, I drove out from my house. Like I said, watch a video. You see, this is a recap. I drove out. I went down there. I see what's going on. I get a record, take the truck from where it was, carry it to the, the Volvo dealer. I've then put in a brand new whatever. So that, that bill run me over $7,000, right? So... For that one week that he worked, I did pay him for that one week, right? And so I was saying to him now, okay, because I, I put him up in, in a hotel for two days, plus the one week that he, that, he, that he run, right? So I said to him, okay, all right, this is not looking good. Well, it started off like this. I know we have your plan, but um, just for the sake of what's going on now, at least give me like a two months before you make that move, you know what I mean? Just give me like a two months of running out. You know what I mean? And then you can go ahead and continue on your journey. And then, you know, we, 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 we square off because, you know, you see what's going on. Well, he didn't really say anything in return. But I know when I get the truck fixed, it was the, he, he made one more trip to Toronto, came back up. And then he called me up and be like, I have to go home because someone is coming to pick me up to take me to Calgary or take me to BC. So basically, that was my first. Um, experience that I have with a driver like I can say that I really like I, like I lose big time you know what I mean um, I lose in in a way where I I was there sticking out um, not well basically using you know my money to pay his rent you know what I mean make sure everything is okay on his side just to see just to make things flow you know what I mean and then it come it comes it comes around to to where things like this happen to where it, it it really 
it really get the best of me in a sense where I don't think I could do that. I, I keep mentioning saying this because I just think of what I would do if I was in that situation. You know what I mean? If I knew I had something planned, I would have someone, you know, maybe if the evil person is paying my rent, I would have to tell him, listen, thank you for paying this for me. But as soon as I get a job and I start working, I'm going to send your money back. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. But this is what I have planned, if that's the case. But you have the person paying your rent. You have the person looking at truck so that you can get out there and start doing your thing. But you have other plans already. You know what I mean? So that's even when the Volvo dealer said to me, this is a driver error. I wasn't even thinking about driver error with that. But if you understand where I'm coming from, you know what I mean? In a sense where he did that to have it come to this. I was saying to myself, you know, like, like I said, based on everything that I'm saying to you guys, for hearing something like this and for seeing that the driver is not making an effort to actually stick it out with you for a while until you get back on track based on what's going on. Because remember, I'm doing this to help the situation out. And you see what is happening on my side and you still pursue to continue on the same journey that you're on. So I was just saying to myself, maybe if I was in the situation, this guy wouldn't help me out if he even had the chance to, you know what I mean? Because in this case, he had a chance or an opportunity to tell or to make an adjustment on what he is doing to help me out back based on what I'm going through. But he still pressed you to do what he had planned from day one. So that means, and that only means, if I was in the situation of him and he have a chance or the opportunity to help me, I wouldn't have get, I wouldn't get that help based on what is happening now. Because it's clear, anyone can see this, even the blind person can see. If he was the person in, if I was a person in his position and he was in my position, I would have never get that help. I would have to get that rent paid some other way or do something or, you know what, let's not continue. But that is the, my first experience with the first driver that I had. Um, it's not, like I said, it's, it, it, you see, and these things happen and I, I, I didn't talk about it, right? I hold it in and I just continue to, you know, do my thing because I know myself, right? And sometimes I don't try to let anyone get the best of me or get my spirit or my vibes down, you know what I mean? But things like these will, will, will have anyone questioning what am I doing wrong or, you know, is this the right journey I'm taking? Or is this how people are, you know what I mean? Or what does that mean that you don't know that maybe why you're feeling, you know, it's a bunch of questions is gonna come turn up right and the only way you can answer these type of question is putting yourself in the same position that is going on at the moment and the answer that you come up with is typically the answers that would happen originally if it was that way around you know what i mean but that was my first experience hope you guys understand what i'm saying where i'm coming from with it now the second driver i have now this driver was from um Tur Turkey, yeah, I think it was from Turkey. Um, you have a, yeah, it's a Turkey background, the whole work. Yeah, he's from Turkey. He was living in Montreal, you know what I mean? Um, this driver now was more younger driver. Well, before I get to that driver, I did have a Indian driver before that well he wasn't working for me he was on training so i take i take out the drivers on driving tests to see how they perform right and to have an understanding who i'm putting inside the truck and stuff like that after i see resume and stuff like that now this driver had a two-year experience and his license so i'm like okay you know what you're doing you know let's go for a run so i run from toronto to montreal and on my way to montreal i have to stop the driver and have to go around the wheel you know what i mean um there were a couple of things that he did that me and in the passenger seat couldn't watch 
to see that the first thing we were going to for fuel, right? And a truck driver was we, we, we were coming we were at the stoplight. A truck driver come down to stop at on the the left side that we we were gonna turn. But when the truck driver stopped, he him, the truck driver, stop over the white line that would that that mark for him to stop beyond but he stopped over it now he already made that mistake now you as the other driver on the other side have to do have to make some correction so that you can clear what is going on there because it already happened it already see it right my driver that was training decided to make the turn the same way that he was positioned in the line and i have to stand up in the truck and be like stop at the time when he stopped, and I said, look in your mirror, and I look in the mirror, I couldn't even see the tandem wheels on the trailer. He was going to take off the, the front of the truck that was there over the line, right? So at that point, I have to have the driver, the, the driver have to take time, reverse, you know what I mean? So that my truck could clear. But before... He made that turn. I was looking. I was like, no, you have to go down more. You have to go forward more or something just to make this, just to clear this corner because of this truck guy that came up wrong, that stopped wrong, right? He already, yeah, that person already made that stop. So you have to fix yourself to clear it, right? Because it's not every truck can, and we all know the rules as a truck driver, you can't really reverse. Like when you stop at a stop sign because you can't really see what's going on behind you unless you get out of the truck or something, right? So I didn't use that driver. I had to um, turn back with the truck and complete the journey myself because I wasn't going to send any driver out on the road to cause any problem out there. You know what I mean? You have to, if you said you have a two years experience, show me that you have a two years experience. That experience is show me that Maybe you have the license for two years, but you weren't driving. You know what I mean? Because it was more. I just can't really remember all of it right now. But there was more more incident with the, within the same day. So I decided no. So the next driver I had was a younger driver. It was like 24, like I said, from Turkey. And he was, you know, passionate about the, the driving. He, I took him out there. And I can see where he need just a little more understanding a little more catch up but he was doing it he was driving he was understanding the road he was making the turns right he was using his signal he was stopping on time he was leaving the distance he was looking at the signs all of that you know what i mean i can see where you have little, little weakness i talked to him about it i explained everything i told him that any difficulty you have anything just call me up you know what i mean and i will guide him through and that's exactly what he did everything any thing whatsoever if he saw a light on the dash he called me up if he if he you know missed the trailer um bullpen like going under the trailer too too low the trailer drop high and he, and he was too low going on there he missed the pin he tried to come back out and the truck got stuck he called me up stuff like that you know what i mean and i walk him through it how to remove how to you know get moving and stuff like that and it it, it worked now all it happened for that driver to actually not working for me anymore. It was actually his fault. What he did was he went to pick up a tr loaded trailer from the location that would be Canadian Tire. And I don't know what he was doing or what happened on his side. or I don't know what he fell asleep around the wheel in the lineup in the lineup to go in to so that's when the, the the security went out there to knock on the door to ask him what's going on this guy wake up and, and, and mumbling that that's the information that i get he was mumbling words so they they banned him from going in there so he couldn't went in there to pick up any loads right so that's all unfortunately on his side i had to get another driver because they stop him from coming inside here because they're saying it's not safe, it's risky, whatever, whatever. They don't know what he's doing. They reported that the driver must be taking something or under something or whatnot. So that was kind of his fault, and I hope he learned from 
that type of mistake and you know and put his 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 his, his, his thing together, right? And continue. He's young, you know what I mean. Have more experience leave out there, so just continue on where where he's at and you know he will do good because trust me, he's a, he was driving for four months and I had no problem with this driver. He was he was doing good. He was making the miles. Like I said, he was young, but he was active. You have a young child, he was doing it. He was, this guy was a future driver, I can tell you this. He was passionate about his job. He was there. I don't know what happened in the last, he's getting a bit, maybe a bit too comfortable. So he started doing whatever it's, he feel like. But nevertheless, I can say he was, or he still is. It's just that unfortunately this happened, but he is a very good driver. So that, that's one of the best drivers I, I have out of all the three drivers that I had before. And the third driver that, that I have, he was from St. Vincent. I already talked about that, this driver already and what happened. So I'm gonna leave a link of this of, of this driver in the description. I'm gonna leave it in a, in a card passing at the top. So you will see um, the, about the third driver that I have. So that this is my experience of the truck drivers that I have so far within my time of since I have the truck and what I'm doing. So these are all the ups and downs that I have. These are all the, 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 the experience that I've been through. I hope this video will help anyone that is thinking about make, giving it a try, you know what I mean? Or what their plan is, just to have an idea. What are some of the issues that you may go through? You may not even do it the way how I do it. So maybe I'm the one that did it wrong. Or maybe I'm the one that you know, going too much on this, or maybe I'm the one that, you know, left something off or something, whatever. Leave me your comments, leave me your thoughts, leave me a like on this video if you really appreciate what I'm doing and what's going on with this channel, you know what I mean? And, you know, give me a one share if you can. And thanks once again for tuning in. And I respect each and every one of you guys for sitting down, paying attention to my videos, you know, leaving comments, showing the passion and giving me the energy to come on here and do more videos. I just wanted to say big respect and thank you guys so much. Peace, respect, and please subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Try stars. Trucking. For more videos like this, please subscribe.